All right, guys, it's Christmas. Welcome back to the Differential. I want to talk a little bit today about some stuff you can give your buddy who sits around the fire and talks, you know, talks workwear, talks construction wear, talks gifts for his buddies, um, or just is coming up with his, you know, redneck wish list. <laughs> so hopefully this will give you guys kind of a rundown of some cool ideas to give to that particular gentleman. Um, so we're going to start off here right out of the gate. It's cold as hell. It's winter. It's Christmas. First thing you want to get a guy is something like this. Good set of bibs. These are Carhartt. Obviously, you can tell by the nature of how wonderfully uh, dirty they are that they've been used quite a bit. These things are excellent. It's You're freezing your ass off. You're laying in the... I've laid in water, snow, ice, everything you can think of in these things. Um, they're, they're the best. They also, being that they're open, you can layer up underneath them. You're going to get a ton of quality out of these. Um, are they the cheapest gift on this list? No. However, um, not all good things are cheap, and this is one of those things that is worth investing in. Um, you can find these damn near anywhere, Buckeyes, uh, anywhere, pretty much any place, any kind of hardware store, any kind of uh, big box like Bass Pro. These guys are all going to have stuff like this. Fantastic buy. I recommend it. If you're a wife looking for a last-minute gift for your um, tradesman husband, this is the thing to get them. They will thank you over and over again if they don't have a set right now. That's number one. Number two, a DeWalt radio. This is what I like about this one. You'll see some of the, uh, I got to think of the right word. I don't want to say old heads. <laughs> but the old heads would bring in these huge radios. Um, that looked like they were carrying a mini fridge, which some of them probably were. But in this case, this is a nice, tiny, compact DeWalt radio. It's got every attachment on it. You can Bluetooth right up and sync in. Um, for me, I always carry, obviously, the standard power cord because you're going to need that. And then also I carry my phone charger because you're on site, you've been working eight hours, your phone's dying because you occasionally, more than occasionally nowadays, have to use it for work. And you need to charge up. This is a great tool to use to charge up. Um, this thing is, you will be shocked at how cheap it is. I believe this was about 50 bucks. Um, great purchase. Definitely recommend it. Again, anybody who gets this is going to thank you because it's going to be something. Music breaks the monotony of, a, monotony of a terribly long, difficult day. Ask any trades guy. This is almost a staple in your, your your pack out or your truck. You have to have it. It's awesome. All right. On to the next. The coup de gras for the deaf. Steel noise-canceling headphones. These things are great. Um, they don't cost a hell of a lot. They basically, regardless of if you're doing outdoor work, steel, in my opinion, and I've tried more than a handful of different noise cancelers because I'm around heavy equipment all the time because I'm, you know, operating a chainsaw in the summer consistently or even in the winter in this case this year. So these things will take care of you from a, I mean, you could still hear a guy on your crew yelling for you, but when you're standing right up on it, it's not going to just make your ears rattle. If you guys have done it, you know what I'm talking about. This is a, this is a great set. These things are like 20, 30 bucks worth every penny. Obviously, being able to hear in your latter years is important. So having these on you, I'm not saying you got to wear them everywhere you go. I've seen idiots who bang a hammer and have to wear their headphones because they think that's a good idea. It's not. It's not practical. But these things, when you're really getting hit, help a ton. So very cost effective, great stocking stuffer. Highly recommend them. Boys at Steel know what they're doing. All right. If you don't own a pair of these already, I mean, most guys that have been in any kind of trade work use these things. Um, I mean, they're they're awesome. They can take a hell of a beating. Uh, the grip wear on the inside, you can tell mine are getting beat up. These are fairly new. I've been through a couple pairs, um, and it's like years. I mean, these will I won't exhaust these. I hopefully can show you these next Christmas if 
you know, they make it, <laughs> but hopefully they will. These are great, durable gloves. Again, 20 bucks, great stocking stuffer. I know the whole like uh, mantra of, you know, get your hands dirty. Don't worry. Dude, your hands are going to be fucked up enough. You don't need to add any additional tyranny to them by not providing yourself a pair of gloves like this. Just get them. They're awesome. They're great. They're going to help you out. Mechanics knows what they're doing. They've been putting these on. I even, um, I got friends who were in the military who used these that were doing the more rugged terrain infantryman style work in these gloves. I think that speaks to the nature of the quality of these gloves. So this is a, this is a guarantee winner for a stocking stuffer. All right. And the final one, I didn't bring a stocking because, well, there's not a stocking that'll fit all this stuff, but this is an Ozark trail waterproof bag. It goes for the whole whopping price of about 40 bucks or less, depending on what kind you buy. But what's great about this thing is you snap it, you roll it open. And what's beautiful is everything you see in front of you, depending on who you are and what you do, obviously this may not be your daily pack out. Um, I keep a few bags in my truck, usually obviously tools, a pack out. I keep a wet bag in my truck just because I want to throw my bibs in there and throw on my warmer jacket on my ride home. Throw a radio, you can throw your gloves, your hats, um, your high-vis gear, your boots. All can go in here. There's a great way to pack this thing out. Yeti makes a version. It's like 195 to 300 bucks, depending on what kind you get and up. I think there's one that's like almost $600. This thing here, in my opinion, does the same thing, and you can spend a whole lot less. Um, it's a great buy. Ozark Trail makes good stuff. Just because it's at fucking Walmart does not mean it's a bad product. This is a good product. These are sold at Walmart, too. It's a good product. This is good stuff. So if you want something practical, you want something cost-effective that works, this is a great piece to have in your truck. And for... Uh, the best way to put all this stuff in one place, this is an ample stocking. I guarantee you, if your husband sees this hanging on the mantle, he's going to be real happy with you. So that's my top five for 2020. Get somebody these items, and they're going to be happy as a clam. Thanks for joining us, guys.